today we're going to talk about uh, one of Jason's favorite people. That's right. Looney Ron DeSantis down in Florida. Mm-hmm. So Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is railing against a marijuana legalization ballot initiative, arguing that it would protect the right to use cannabis more strongly than the First Amendment protects free speech or the Second Amendment protects gun rights, and again claiming that the reform has been a failed experiment in states such as Colorado. At a press briefing on Tuesday, DeSantis was asked about the launch of his Florida Freedom Fund PAC which is being used to oppose the cannabis legalization ballot measure, as well as separate abortion rights initiative in the lead up to the November election. You gotta love the irony of that. The Florida Freedom Fund opposing personal liberties in the state of Florida. The governor said the proposal would allow people to do marijuana, quote unquote, do marijuana wherever you want. Just smoke it, take it, and it would turn Florida into San Francisco or Chicago or some of these places. He then reprised one of his chief complaints about the potential impact of legalization, smelling cannabis. We've got to keep our streets clean. We cannot have every town smelling like marijuana. We cannot have every hotel smelling theme parks, he said, adding that voters don't really understand the specifics of the legalization proposal and the ballot initiatives are generally, quote unquote, so bogus. DeSantis acknowledged that the Supreme Court has a rule in reviewing ballot language for constitutionality and that the majority of justices determined that the marijuana measure met the legal standard. But while he previously correctly predicted the court would approve the initiative following a challenge from State Attorney General Ashley Moody, he now says the two dissenting justices were correct in trying to block voters from deciding on the measure. He also claimed that the measure, as drafted, would allow people to smoke marijuana indoors at restaurants. The Safe and Smart Florida campaign has pushed back against his, uh, against his prior arguments about public consumption, knowing that the legal, uh, legislature is empowered to set restrictions as they see fit. DeSantis also claimed earlier that, it would, that if voters approve the marijuana legalization initiative, people will be able to bring 20 joints to an elementary school. He again complained about the prevalent odor of cannabis that he says was, would result from the reform. Now, the amendment does not say that you can do that, so I think that's an open question, the governor said on Tuesday. But even if somehow that were right, once it's constitutional, law enforcement is not going to want to get involved. So you're going to end up, it's going to be like Colorado. Talk to the people of Colorado about what happened. Yep. Uh, Ron, we'd love to talk to you about what happened and how it was absolutely not a failed experiment. But there's no, uh, he said, there's no limitations in the amendment language, and I think and so I think that will hap- what will happen is it's more broad. This amendment, for you to be able to possess and smoke pot than the First Amendment is, than the Second Amendment is, than like core amendments that grew out of the founding of this country. DeSantis also said legalization has not worked in any single place, and he challenged a recent ad from the campaign that promoted regulating cannabis as an alternative to the status quo of people using untested cannabis from illicit sellers. When Colorado and California enacted legalization, it created a bigger black market. The drug cartels benefited from that, he said. It was a failed experiment. The governor has repeatedly pointed to Colorado's experience with legalization, making questionable claims about the impact of reform as an example for why Florida should not follow suit. Colorado Governor Jared Polis pushed back against the criticism that following similar remarks from DeSantis in January, with his office telling Marijuana Moment, for the state of Colorado is happy to explain the advantages of marijuana legalization. Polis said, The facts are that Colorado voters approve the legalization of marijuana, which is curbing the illicit market, getting dealers off the streets, reducing youth use, funding school construction, supporting job, and Colorado's economy. The governor's spokesperson said at the time, Colorado is happy to provide the Florida governor advice on how to increase economic and personal freedom like we have in the free state of Colorado. Meanwhile, according to Fox, a Fox News poll released this month, two in, two in three voters in Florida support the cannabis initiative, with the issue proving more popular than the governor himself. The sur- uh, survey showed majority support for legalization across the political spectrum, too. You can read more about uh, the ballot initiative and um, a few more comments from Governor DeSantis on the Hyatt 9 News website. And I just want to give a shout out to Kyle Yeager and uh, Marijuana Moment for, uh, for covering this story this morning. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's hear what uh, what the rest of the team has to say. DeSantis is back at it again. He uh, he really did you know his full tour of every bullshit propagandist talking point that you could. He had got the schools, he got the smell, he got uh, the cartels. Um, but let's let's hear what the team has to say. It was a Soham with uh, Hyatt Nine News. Soham, what 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 was he using as examples 
to to illustrate that cannabis would be more protected than the Second Amendment? I, he, I mean, like most were of these, these just these vagities claims he's making. There's yeah, there's all okay. Just, Big right. posturing, scare, scaring people. But and like, I mean, that's rich for a state like Florida to claim that this amendment will provide you with more constitutional rights than the protection of the Second Amendment. Like that is absolutely I, that's a big, big stretch. That's like that's like a that's like a full full day of stretch and smoke right there. A full day. Well, you know what never comes out of these discussions is for people like me who were sent to fucking prison for weed. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the law enforcement dollars that are spent on chasing down people fucking smoking a joint somewhere. They right. never mention the human cost for these ridiculous goddamn laws. Okay. It's like, oh, we don't want to talk about people's families being ruined, sent to prison and all that kind of stuff. It's like, oh, all oh, the children, you're going to take 22 joints to school. Most of these initiatives allow the legislature to amend them somehow to, and to set up regulations and to, look, where can you do this? Where can you not do this? And they just don't want to talk about the human costs of these ridiculous um, laws against drugs and especially weed. I mean, come on, dude. Two thirds of the state says leave people alone. Stop throwing mm -hmm. them in jail for weed. And this guy's pulling stuff out of his ass about the Second Amendment, First Amendment and oh, the children and. I'm sure I, you know. Sam I'd be I'd be curious to see what his uh, his private prison lobby uh, donations look like because I would imagine he's getting some money from a robust private prison industry in Florida. Well, I, I would imagine the majority of the money that they get from the private prison industry um, they don't actually see. It'd be more dark money that goes into different super PACs that do different types of things. I, oh, I, of course, I would be but I mean to put money on. Point being, there he is receiving money indirectly. He's not. He's he's, he's not receiving sure. his his agenda. May be receiving messaging in due to, but he's not actually receiving the money or directing what yeah, is going on. To say out. this with a straight face, somebody better repay on this guy some money. This is just a <laughs> truckload of bullshit. You know. And I mean, how do you I mean Kevin Savet must be on a speed dial? Okay. Jesus, this is nuts. That, that that is fair, and I do I do know. Um, I, I I am familiar with some of the people that uh that that I can imagine are 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 behind some of these things. Um, so it doesn't surprise me. I've had a few conversations with some of these big Florida donors in regards with this with with this conversation. So it's not surprised me. Doesn't surprise me that they're gaslighting the public in this way. And uh, you know, but I think a lot of Floridians see through the smoke screen. Do they really? Yeah, I really do. I really do. Mm -hmm. and well, I, I would hope, hope so. so. I talk to a lot of people in Florida, yeah. so I would, I, I would, I, 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 I would say that a majority of Floridians can can read through the smoke screens and just understand this. I mean, a majority of people know that uh, that, that that cannabis is safer than alcohol, and so if you just use use that as your kind of a median, then I think I think this is a, you know people people will see right through hopefully this. they need they need more dispensaries and less pill mills down there man they i just don't like to problems. overestimate people's confidence man <laughs> that's fair hey you know what that's a very very fair 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 statement rico that is very fair i i i i feel you on that i just would like to you know lead with hope for an optimism for you guys today on this hump day well you can think <laughs> in a, a country where people want to, the democracy or they want the people the citizens to speak mm -hmm. two-thirds are telling this knucklehead hey we want this to pass and they're pulling this kind of stuff out of their ass who stands up for the people in democracy the people i don't care whether you're democrat or republican the citizens want this to stop Mm -hmm. They want to be able to go buy legal weed that's safe and stop throwing people in jail, even arresting them for this stuff. I mean, if you're yep. smoking weed in the middle of an elementary school, I think you should have your ass kicked and thrown in jail. OK, mm -hmm. that's just yeah. not OK. But you shouldn't be drinking alcohol. And I know a lot of teachers that I've met with that stunk like alcohol in the middle of the day. So, I mean, where do we bring common sense to this? And I, I don't know where, because as you say, this is just gaslighting, Jason. And mm -hmm. the citizens, I thought, hope spank this guy pretty heavily in this election, or uh, this nonsense. Well, I don't, I don't see them spanking. I him. think that. 
I don't see him. Well, they come back with a two third say, yeah, we want this to go through. That That's a cream well, pie right in his face. It's like, well, 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 not, not necessarily, Dale, because I know that there's a lot of activists that, that aren't happy with this with this Florida bill. So I think there'll be a lot of people that uh, that, that do want to want to see uh, legalized cannabis in Florida that will still vote no on this bill um, just because it's not a good bill overall. I mean, and I, I also want to point out that there was there's some of this gaslighting coming from the the pro initiative side as well. I I think there was a, a CEO that is a part of one of the the medical companies down there. I'm not going to name them because I can't remember it off the top of my head for sure. But I believe they were perpetuating the myth of of fentanyl in uh, you know fentanyl mm-hmm. waste marijuana on the black market as a reason to to propose like you know support the legalization. Which I mean. I understand getting there however you need to, but for for proponents of a legalization initiative to be puppeting wrong, mm-hmm. like you know, fear tactics and propaganda, I think is is pretty shameful. Mm-hmm. Should be a pretty straightforward vote for people. You want marijuana to be legal or not? Just don't pay attention to all the extraneous bullshit and let the people vote on this. And then if there's rules and regulations they need to have, let the legislature work them out and stop arresting people and ruin their lives for smoking weed. I mean, that really is the big issue here. And shout, shout out to shout out to Johnny Smash. All right, I I love this 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 comment here. He says Gaslight would be a dope name for a brand that sells greenhouse as indoor. <laughs> I'm not mad Gas at that. Light. I'm not mad at that. I am not mad at that. No. Is Johnny Smash a dad too? I mean, I think they should spell it G A S L I T E if it was greenhouse weed. Gaslight, you know what I mean? 